Welcome back to Botch Aviation and a Happy New Year's to you. I cannot believe it. We are in January 2024, a brand new year and a brand new year for aviation. This year, uh, last year has been such a blast and I cannot wait to talk about what we have in this video. Today, this video will be about what's there to expect from the channel in 2024 and a little throwback to what happened last year in 2023. So without further ado, let's get to the first portion. The first portion of this video will be on the what will be expected in 2024 from the channel. The first thing we will expect from this channel in 2024 will be a lot of, um, excuse me, a lot of flights this year. This year I'm planning to take um, many trips well, the first trip that will happen this year will be on in January 15th. Well, I'll be flying Allegiant Airlines from Cincinnati to Fort Lauderdale on the Airbus A320. Really excited to fly Allegiant for the first time. And then three hours later, I'll be departing from Fort Lauderdale to Atlanta on Frontier Airlines Airbus A320 Neo. This was a pretty much a last minute decision for me to go on this um, on this trip, I was originally just gonna drive to Cincinnati, but I decided to fly back, and I'm super excited to get the flight on the Allegiant for Allegiant Airlines for the first time, and I just cannot wait. Of course, it's a budget uh, ultra low cost uh, airline, but you know what it is. I have to add the ultra low cost, um, the three biggest ultra low cost airlines in America list to end it off, and I'm super excited for flying e Allegiant, even though it's a very, um, let's say, not a good reputation. The second trip that's planned for uh, other trips that we planned that haven't been purchased the tickets. Again, it's gonna be based on variables such as time and how much cost. The first trip will be to going to Romania, of course, my home, um, where my my nationality is. I'll be planning to go there for one to three months. Again, the tickets are not a purchase or nor the time, so I'll be having to see it what will it be expected. But I am planning um, to go there for about, yeah, again, two to three months. Really excited for the trip. Also planning to maybe fly around a bunch of, around Romania and, and possibly Europe then. But again, it's also just a change on price and if I have the available time. Another trip that is planned for uh, 2023 that may or not happen would be attending the Chicagoland Collectible Show. I hope to attend it this year, but again, I have to see uh, with my schedule because in May, in May, I I don't know if I'll have the greatest amount of free time. But again, I really hope to attend that that convention. Also, the Atlanta Collectibles Show, I will be. Um, I'm pr I'm like 80% sure I'll be attending this year as a vendor because last year's was an incredible experience and it's just so much fun and one of the best experiences one of those uh actually i'll we'll talk about that later into the video but for now we're gonna get on the trips and i want to maybe going to the dallas show um for this year a, a possibility but again obviously with times the minneapolis show is another one i would like to attend to but again that's more in the september october range so that's pretty far out so not nothing planned. There's a few other trips, but it has to materialize, and I do not want to announce anything, of course. But th that's pretty much like um, what the trips are for this year plan. The second thing is what to expect in 2024 from content based. The first thing for content, it will be a lot of. Um, um, I'm planning to do um, for this month of January. I'm planning to upload around maybe four. Um, excuse me. Uh, for model airport update videos i am planning again subject to change a massive unboxing video and a collection update video so a lot of content um planned another thing in 2024 i'm expecting to do a lot of will be model reviews because i'll be in um romania and europe at the time for a long period of time i am planning on doing uh, more trip reports and model reviews of models that i've already pre-downloaded so during that time you're going to see more repetitive content so i will excuse myself for that because i will not be able to have access to my entire collection then but i'll try to make the best content i can while on the road another thing is maybe during that time i want to do maybe videos about the histories of airports 
airlines and kind of stuff like that. That would be kind of interesting to learn um, for people to learn about history of airlines and stuff like that, which would be a nice idea and it would be kind of cool, especially since then. So I'm really, these are some type of like ideas I want to get into this year. Um, it just a lot of for content based. I kind of want to do a few other things. Maybe I'll do a collection video on my airline collectibles that I have in my collection. But again, that is subject. I don't know if that would be a topic of interest for this year. Again, there's a lot of ideas for 2024 that I kind of want to get into. I kind of want to make retro airport updates, but I do not have the sufficient information to make them and maybe not even the fleet. So again, ideas that may or may not be materialized, but I cannot wait. So that kind of sums up what's it, 2024 build on. So 2023, we're going to get on to what happened in 2023. 2023 for flights was an excellent year. I flew to from Atlanta to New York, New York to Atlanta. I have flown to Chicago four times last year, two times on, no, let me see, three times on Frontier Airlines, one time on Delta Airlines. Um, I flew a trip on the, the first time, I flew the Delta 757-200 the first time last year with the Flying Spear to Fort Lauderdale and then flying Delta back from Fort Lauderdale to Atlanta. I flew to LA on Delta from Atlanta to LAX and LAX to Atlanta. I flew to Den, uh, no, I flew to Atlanta to DFW for then I flew Denver Connection and the one set E145 for the first time on Denver Connection from uh, um, Dallas to Clovis, Clovis to Denver and then Delta Airlines from Dallas to Atlanta. So a lot of flights were flown this year. Um, I'm forgetting a few at this moment, but you get the idea. I have flown a lot this year and a few of the trips I do want to make a trip report about. The first thing I want to do is um, pause. To, oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to add is I want to do a trip report on the Denver Air Connection flight. That is an idea, but again, it's subject to change, but it's an incredible experience that I do want to share with y'all. Another thing with the flights is, um, no, no, that's enough for the flights that I took last year, but I had an incredible experience, uh, uh, incredible time on flights last year. I was able to make it my most fun year in my life. So I was really happy with that, but I had an incredible experience and incredible time. I wish I did more trip reports on last year. So that's what's one thing I want to expect from this year is that I will be uploading more trip reports. Another thing about last year is that this channel finished off with around 940 subscribers, which I thank you all. And one of my, I upload my most popular video, my massive unboxing of 100 plus model airplanes. That video reached 110,000 views. Thank you, y'all. I cannot even express my gratitude for all this year. I have increased as a creator, made so many friends, and this community has been so supportive of my aviation journey and what I've done here on YouTube on this platform. And I've enjoyed it so much. And I cannot thank you all for helping me during this period of time. It's it's unbelievable the place I've been. I'm in like, you know, as a kid, you think, oh, I'm going to be some cool big YouTuber. But when I made this, um, this YouTube channel, I was never expecting it to be like, I was expecting, ah, maybe I get, you know, I make some content. I'll have a few friends, maybe like that. It was something more as like a little hobby on the side and something like this. And this is still a hobby, but it's incredible how many people now want to tune in, see my videos and it brings me such joy that you are enjoying my content so much. And I thank each and every one of you that enjoys my video. Even if you've been here for one week, one month, or two years, one year, I don't know. Since this channel began, I thank each and every one with you with gratitude. And as 2024 is arriving, we are almost hitting 1,000 subscribers and very special video will be uploaded for when I hit 1,000 uh, subscribers and I cannot wait for that video and so much has happened this year in 2023 I made my um, I've gained I think my collections increased by more than 30 percent my um, views have increased what else has increased um, like I've gained many personal friends through aviation and it's just an incredible experience especially um, for series like for content uh, my model airports have been getting better and better each and every month. I've been working on editing as I've seen as my older videos. I'm starting to see how my editing skills have gone better. 
thus leading to y'all enjoying it, my um, content much more. I have just so many things that I'm so thankful for 2023. I've done many massive unboxings, model airplane um, reviews. Um, my random airport series was started last year and it was incredible and I really love the series and it seems to be going quite well. Even if, what, they don't gain that much views, then I have really lots of fun doing on these little random airports or big random airports that I just find such cool information about and I can share with you. Again, thank you each and every one of you through this past year, um, last year that really helped me with this, um, this uh, journey that I've been on YouTube and I hope you I hope you to see my content improve and you can enjoy it even more this upcoming this year and I really hope that you will thank you again everyone who's been here for I don't know how long time but I am deeply gratitude that you're here to join it thank you again for watching my videos and why not thank you again for watching this video may God bless you this week now if you know what time it is it's time to roll the outro. Let's go. Thank you again.